So today, we are writing recursive equations for linear relationships. Now, a recursive equation is a type of equation that comes up with a pattern based on knowing the previous value. All right, so here's the first example I'm gonna do, table A, and notice I already wrote out that we can tell that even though x is increasing by one, f of x is increasing by three each time. All right, so to write the recursive equation, it helps by starting by thinking about how you would describe this pattern, maybe just in words. For example, in this pattern, we see that the table starts at eight, starts at eight, and then each time you want a value, the value is going to be equal to the previous value plus three. For example, if you want the fifth value, for f of x, so you want f of five, we'd take the previous value, which is 20, add three to it, and we get f of five. All right, so now that we've kind of know what the description of the pattern is, now let's write this in recursive equation form. So the fact that it starts at eight, we know that means when x is zero, f of x is eight. So to state that, we would say f of zero is eight. And that's all that this means. It means that our table starts at zero and that value of the function at zero is eight. All right, now the second part. To find any value, we take the previous value and add three to it. Okay, so to find any value, any value is gonna be our f of x. That's what we're trying to find, any f of x, no matter what x is, all right? So if f of x is the value we're trying to find, we start by taking the previous value. Well, if we are trying to find f of x, the previous value is f of x minus one. Meaning, no matter which x value we're looking at, let's say we're looking at three, if we're looking at for f of three, we start by taking the value of f of two. Or if we're looking for f of five, we start by taking the value of f of four. So no matter what, if we're, starting, if we're trying to find f of x, we start by taking the previous value of the function, f of x minus one, and then we said the pattern was add three to it. There it is, okay? So our recursive equation for this table would be this and this. There's two parts to it. The fact that it starts at eight and the pattern is that we take the previous value and we add three to it, okay? Now, let's do another example so you can see it without the words and see it a little bit more straightforward here. Okay, so table B. Notice in this table, we start at 25 and this time it's decreasing by five every single time. Okay, so this pattern's fairly straightforward. So to write the recursive equation, Remember, we start at f of zero starts at 25. So our first part of our equation is we're gonna say that f of zero is 25. Now the second part of the equation describes the pattern. So f of x, any value of the function is equal to the previous value, f of x minus one. And then what do we do to the previous value to get our current value? Well, we always subtract five from it. And there's our function, all right? So this says that the pattern starts at 25, and to get any value, we take the previous one and subtract five from it, all right? And that's what a recursive equation will look like for a linear relationship. It'll either repeatedly add to the previous value to get the current value, or it repeatedly subtracts from the previous value to get the current value. All right, so I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe, it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on today's math and I will see you next time.